that we can fall in love with a book, we can work with the author in trying to make that book even better, we can design, I'm waving the wrong book about. <laughs> A beautiful presentation, but it's all really, however much work we do, we are totally dependent on the power of the book to entrance the reader. And we are so proud and pleased to be introducing Kieran with her very first book to the world. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you very much, and I'm going to do a few thank yous as well. I'm going to thank um, Jazz and Laura for the publicity. Woo! I'm going to thank Rachel Lyshen for the editorial. Woo! The other authors are pushing and shoving her tonight. <laughs> it's a painless process, really. Rachel Hickman for the, overseeing the fantastic design. Woo! And Helen in Brighton, who can't be here tonight, for actually executing the fantastic design. Hooray! But most of all, I want to thank Kieran for writing such a beautiful book. Hooray! When we first met, you gave me a copy of this book, and I'm giving it back to you in a pocket form, so you can take around the po pocket atlas of a remote island. Thank you. Oh, here it is for today and tried to write something but every time I just got far too excited about seeing you all so I'm afraid it's a bit more of an Oscar style before the band plays me out list but um, first of all I really want to thank everyone in this room for coming it really means so I'm just spotting people I didn't know they were here it really means so much to have you here to celebrate with um, so much of writing is sitting alone in a room sort of hating yourself so it's lovely to be a room <laughs> who don't hate you. <laughs> um, so cheers to you all for coming. Thank you so much. Cheers. The courage. Okay. Um, so first of all, I really want to thank Chicken House. Um, my, well, my third draft by then was a bit of a, a sort of, oh, I'm going to throw everything I have at this. And they were able to see sort of the shape in what was quite a, um, a pretentious manuscript. No, that's not the right word, but it was over-enthusiastic. Um, and so thank you so much for seeing promise in it. It really meant a lot. And I say this was a team effort, but really it's felt more like a family. Um, so Barry and Rachel, my editors, just incredible. Um, Rachel and Helen, who worked so hard on the design, which I think we can all agree is absolutely incredible. And even if you hate the story, at least you've got a really beautiful book. <laughs> um, to Eleanor, who can't be here tonight, the rights finding homes for my book um, all over the world. It's absolutely lovely to work with you. Laura Myers, who's not here, my publishing manager, kept me sane through the copy edits, which are really hard. Um, Laura Smythe, who has been sort of my publicity with Jazz Bartlett, um, you've both become real friends to me. Thank you so much. Um, I absolutely love you guys. And then fellow chickens authors, um, it's so nice to see so many of you here tonight, um, particularly Maya, Mary, James, Lucy, Ali, and Sophia, you guys. Um, you really do feel like family. Thank you for talking me through my Twitter meltdowns. <laughs> um, talking of Twitter, I found a real community there, and I see a lot of people here who I first met on Twitter. Um, and you really have seen me, me through some of my um, darkest writing days um, with lots of gifts and so on. So particularly to Mel, Abby, Emma, Lisa, and Lucy, Catherine, Gracie, Sally, other Lucy, <laughs> and Jules, I didn't do surnames. Um, <laughs> and Jules, thank you so much. You really have kept me on the straight and narrow, kept me focused and made me feel part of something bigger than myself, which is sometimes a hard thing to feel as an author when you've been told you're so great. <laughs> um, to um, Fiona Noble at the bookseller, thank you for being an early champion of my book. To Florentina from Waterstones, who's here, thank you for making me book in the month. Oh, my God. <laughs> and thank you to all the booksellers, got a couple of booksellers from Oxford here tonight and I love you guys, thank you for making this possible 
um, to my friends, so many of you who have been a part of this, um, I love you all so much. Check the back of the book, you will be in there. Um, but I don't want to just stand here listing names, but Daisy and Servat in particular, my writing buddies through this whole process, they read it and were sort of like, hearing that is not appropriate metaphor for a children's book. <laughs> <laughs> I'm strangely drawn to inappropriate metaphors. <laughs> writers, um, lots of whom are here tonight, thank you so much, um, Oxford was a very strange experience but you made it tolerable, <laughs> even enjoyable, so thank you so much and I'm a far better writer for knowing you, Susie, Sam, Imogen, Sharla, um, Wes, Christiana, yeah, you're all amazing, thank you. Okay, we're nearly there. <laughs> um, Sabine um, is my cousin who uh, don't point at her because she's shy, but she's come all the way from India and I wrote this book for her and because of her and because I wanted to write, because I wanted to write something that she'd enjoy, so she says she does. <laughs> she's not a great liar, so, so hopefully, thank you so much for coming, it means the world to have you here, I love you. Um, to my auntie Debbie, come all the way from Leeds, always from <laughs> India. Librarian extraordinaire, can we get a uh, round of applause for librarians? Yeah. Um, camping it across Yorkshire. Um, to my grandparents, who are the least conventional grandparents in the world, um, you know, no buns and knitting, and I occasionally was upset about that, but actually, I far more enjoyed dancing to Romeo and Juliet and pretending to be a tree and to have music on Saturdays. I think that's got me where I am today. <laughs> Um, to my uh, little brother John, who is now six foot, um, I'm incredibly proud of you. Um, you're an incredible human being, and um, thank you for getting me drunk when I need to be drunk. <laughs> keeping me sober when I need to be sober, and just yeah, keeping me sane. Um, to my parents, I really love you. Um, thank you for wanting me to be a writer instead of a lawyer, which is frankly a crazy choice. But I wanted to go and do law, and they were like, you really shouldn't do that. <laughs> you should do something you really want to do. And my dad said, um, it's easy to fail at something you don't want to do, so you might as well fail at something you do. Um, and um, it's amazing to see so many authors I really admire. This is an extra little bit because it's amazing to see France Hardinge here, your books mean um, a lot to me, and um, to Laura Williamson and to Emma Carroll, and it's just incredible to have you here, so thank you for coming. And finally, to Tom, my partner, who amongst other things got me my dress. <laughs> crazy amounts of my book. Who <laughs> <laughs> uh, knew having three sisters with children? It was so useful. <laughs> um, and yeah, I love you, wherever you are. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> so, um, cheers. Um, I'd really love it if you would sign my, my crafted, handcrafted sign of Girl of Making Stars. Just draw a star and write your name. I'd love to have a record of everyone was here and anyone I forgot to thank. I'm so sorry. But know that I'm really grateful. So cheers. Cheers. cheers.